Questions centers of two circles C1 and C2, each of unit radius, are at a distance of 6 units from each other. And let P be the midpoint of line joining centers of C1 and C2. And C be a circle touching C1 and C2 externally. If a common tangent to C1 and C passes through P is also a common tangent to C2 and C1, then radius of this circle C is. So here we have two circles with center set C1 and C2 and P is the midpoint and radius of these circles they are one unit. So this is one and this is one. Suppose this P is at origin then this point C1 will be minus 3 comma 0 and C2 is 3 comma 0 and radius for both the circles they are one unit. Now it says there is this another circle C which touches both the circles. So there is this another circle C which is going to touch both the circles. Now so center of the circle is at h comma k. Now if we join these two centers and suppose this point is A. Now it says common tangent to C1 and C passes through P and is also a tangent to this second circle C2. So it's also a tangent to this second circle C2. Then radius of circle C is. Now suppose this radius is R. Perpendicular from the center, it will pass through P. This is 1. This is 3. And this angle is suppose alpha. This is 90. This is 90. This is 90 minus alpha. Then this angle will be alpha. And this angle will also be alpha. Now in this triangle, A, C1, P, we can write sin alpha and value of sin alpha is 1 by 3. And if we draw this triangle, this is 1, this is 3 and this is 2 root 2. So if we write cos alpha, cos alpha is 2 root 2 upon 3. And this triangle we can write AP. Now this AP is 3 cos alpha and 3 cos alpha is 2 root 2. Now for this triangle CPA we can write R equals AP cot alpha. Now AP is 2 root 2 and cot alpha is 2 root 2 upon 1. So value of R is 8. So radius of this larger circle C is 8 units. And that is the answer to this question.